All right, Dan Orlowski uh, is assuming uh, that the Detroit Lions are going to do a one of a few things. Former Detroit Lions quarterback. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Please check out Detroit Lions. Talk playlist and MLive have an article. Former Lions quarterback Orlowski expects Detroit Lions to go big in first round of the draft. Not pretty. Okay. It says there are many, as many as four quarterbacks who could go in the top 10 in the NFL draft next week. There are as many as three receivers that can go in the top ten. There are it, there are seven. There is even a tight end who can go in the top ten. Good measure. The draft is top heavy on offense, and that's especially true at skill position. Detroit Lions need skill position players to after trading away Matt Stafford, then losing six of the of the seven wideouts receive or receivers who caught passes for them last season. And anyone who reads this has to be reminded how much. The Lions love taking tight ends in the top 10, but when they're on the clock at 7 on draft night, Dan Orlowski thinks his former team won't take a quarterback or receiver or a tight end. He thinks they're going to go big, quote, just a gut feeling because of who the general manager is and where he comes from and how the Rams built the, built the football team, which is defensive line, offensive line, then, and then coach Dan Campbell and knowing Dan, having played with Dan and kind of knowing how he's weird, I would imagine they're going to they're going excuse me they're doing whatever they can to impact the bigs on either side. Orlowski, now ESPN analyst, said during the call on Tuesday morning or afternoon, excuse me, whether that's sitting at seven and taking. I don't know if it will be Sewell or Slater. Whether that's trading out, that's one of the teams. I think the England problem is conversations with for a quarterback, but I think. They would impact both sides of the ball, both sides of the football, big wise, before even start entertaining uh, pretty parts of football, which is position guys. Okay, um, you know, Wolowski thinks that's the way the Lions are going. Rather, taking a receiver, tight end, quarterback of the future, even though he thinks Detroit downgraded the quarterback position, trade away Matthew Stafford. Matthew was an upgrade for L.A. at the position. Wolowski said it is indisputable number one. The play action pass, such as a big part of the shine, shine and the Rams do. So does Matthew upgrade that. He can utilize more of those chunk throws, 15, 20, 22 yard throws, because his arm strength is so legit. He could drive the ball in tighter windows. So you can be more aggressive with the play call in number two. You can take more shots downfield because his arm is just stronger than Jared Goss. That's the truth. And so you can be a little bit more willing to call those shots plays. They also need the speed at wide receiver uh, position to do that, and that's outside the quarterback position. Number three, sometimes play action doesn't work. Sometimes it's not working, whether the defense is more disciplined, they've schemed up the protection better. It's not working, so you have to play the drop back. Damon Stafford arm is capable of dropping back 40 times and making all the throws that are necessary. He doesn't need the play action game. Um, he's never had play action to rely on. One of those things I think is most obvious is you're going to see more third and eight conversions from L.A. because he can make throws that Jared just can't make. Willing, he's willing to make those throws Jared can't make. I think that's one thing that stands out uh, with Matthew, with my time with him. He can make so many throws that I would even think about when think about making. He would come on the sideline and just just look at, at him and be like, dude, what would what I wouldn't even think about throwing that whole shot or looking this way and throwing sidearms. I just wouldn't even think about it because I get fired. Jared is a phenomenal dude, phenomenal. I love Jared Goff. He's going to be a good friend of mine for, for a long time. He's going to be a good friend of mine a long time on the football field. Matthew is an upgrade. I mean, he's ha having said that unless he says he likes the trade for Detroit, which Got three picks in return, including the first rounder. Quote, I think the general manager, Barry Combs, and head coach Dan Campbell were not going to be very good at football team this year. So we're, we will take the cap hit and understand what it would do for our football team this year because we're building for the future. So give us the picks and we'll take the cap hit. Orlowski said, I don't think that they wanted – they I, didn't, I don't – I don't think that they will take a quarterback. I think Jared is, has accomplished a lot in the NFL. And I think 
He's very encouraged by the fresh start, but the Lions need to rebuild the roster again. And they have a lot of flaws, especially on the defensive side of football. And most people think that. But if you look at the defense, they got Flowers. They got Okora. They got Okora brother coming back. That's like getting a rookie. Okay. They got Brockers. I think they need help down the middle. They, they defensive backs. They're young. They can get better. Really, the only flaw for the Lions is linebacker and coverage and coordinator that call it better. People think that's a lot of flaws. There's not a lot of flaws in this football team. One of the flaws is kicker. You know, they got to find a kicker. But the other, the, really, it's not a lot of flaws. Really, it's, depth is the biggest flaw, having depth. You know, and, you know, people don't they have a lot of, one of their biggest issues is somebody calling a better game. Think about it. You got Brockers, you got Peninsula, you got Han, you got Flowers, you got Okor, you got Okor brother, you got Brian coming back, finally getting healthy. You got Charles Harris, you got Jamie Collins, um, you know, you got Okuda, you got Amon Arariye, you got Tracy Walker. It's not a bad team. And talking about offensive line, you know, to be honest, you know, they take so well a Slater. I'm not mad or Darius, so I'm not mad. You complete an offense, but the offensive line is pretty good. Just got to be healthy. And really, you know, if you want to help Jerry Goff, you really got to get him a pass catcher. But like I said before, what they need, what they need in the draft is not going to be there at seven. Or you're going to have to reach. I'm talking about Zayden Collins, Jamin Davis, um, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, they said, oh, boy, falling, Christian Baymore. You know, like I said, you can go you can go late and find those interior linemen. You can go late and find those tackles. But like I said before, you know, if Stafford was so good, why didn't the fuck he elevate the team like Aaron Rodgers did? You know, Dan Orlowski, he don't really know shit. He's just a racist. I'm going to go ahead and say he's really, real racist. And um, like I said before, he just has a rapport with Matthew Stafford that he likes him a lot. But um, like I said before, man, I, I think uh, trading down is, is a possibility. I think trading down twice is a possibility. But I stay there and take star power. Chase there. If it's um, Kyle Pitts, you know, if it's Justin Fields, I'm taking them. Care about Jerry Goff feelings, you know. You know, if Trevor Lawrence somehow... If Trevor Lawrence somehow fall to them, you're going to say, I'm not taking going No. Lions need star power for the now or star power for the future. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, that's just my opinion on it. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out anytime. Have business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video quests. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fast way. Then Facebook, then Instagram. Want to make a donation. Cash up, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. But so to donate, share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. Mercy Sports Talk, Detroit Lions Talk playlist. But uh, let me know what you think about Dan Orlovsky and what he said and what would you do, trade down, take a lineman, take a receiver, would it, whatever. But hey, one time for the one time, Mercy Sports Talk.